Welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to speak about the hex file format. This is a format that was uh, introduced around 1973 uh, by uh, Intel for use in uh, the Intellec series of systems. Uh, if you watched, I've made a video about simulating an Intellec 4 system. This is from the same year. Uh, and uh, since then it was used in uh, many other systems and it's still in use for programming uh, app ROMs with uh, certain software. So let's take a look and see what's inside the hex file. I have already opened here a hex file. This is a hex file viewer. You can find it on my GitHub. Uh, it uh, displays the records of the hex file. So the first thing to remember is that the hex file is uh, structured in records. Actually, it's a text file. So uh, each record is a separate line in a text file. Uh, it contains uh, ASCII characters uh, that are actually hexadecimal numbers. So uh, each two characters represent a hexadecimal number. Uh, it starts with a column sign uh, followed by a byte count. So here you see one zero, but remember this is in hexadecimal. So it's actually 16 bytes. Uh, then you have 3800. This is an address. Again, remember it's in hexadecimal. Uh, then we have 00. This is a record type. So it's a single byte that defines the record. Uh, then we have the data. Uh, this is uh, precisely 16 bytes, uh, but remember each byte is represented by two hexadecimal characters, so we have 32 uh, characters. And then we have uh, a checksum that allows us to see if the record is correct or not. So, uh, the size is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it's uh, talking about the size of this data field. This can be any number from 0 to FF. Uh, then uh, the address. Uh, in the case of uh, data records, this is a data record. The address uh, represents where this program should be located in memory. Uh, in the case of an uh, app ROM, it uh, may represent the address uh, where uh, the program should be, where this line should be written in the app ROM. Uh, then we have uh, this uh, record type byte. Uh, initially, uh, it was defined only as 00, zero uh, so record type 0. Uh, this is uh, a data record, so the initial uh, files when introduced only contained data. Uh, but uh, soon after the introduction, uh, it was defined a new uh, record, 01. This is actually called an end of file record. Uh, you can see one here, uh, and uh, this uh, end of file record uh, actually has no data. Uh, as you can see, there are no blue uh, characters. Uh, also, the first byte is 00, zero uh, because uh, this is the size, and as I said, we have zero. Uh, and the address here uh, may be either uh, zero, or uh, it can be a starting address uh, for this program. So you can encode here a starting address. Uh, some of you may uh, wonder about this particular address here. Well, it's a file that has an error, but we'll talk about errors uh, next time. But for now, it's important to remember this structure. 
Okay, so again, uh, size, address, record type, data, and checksum. Uh, also, uh, after uh, using the format for several years, uh, some uh, new data types were introduced, so more recent files may have additional uh, record types like uh, segments or there are even uh, some uh, reserve data types by some companies. But I'll not go into details because uh, we are uh, interested in uh, the original format. The original format contained uh, only record types 0 and 1. Uh, how is uh, stored such a file? Well, uh, it's stored as a regular file with hex extension. As I said, this is actually a text file. You can open it, for example, with uh, Notepad++ or even the Notepad for Windows. Uh, Notepad++ actually knows uh, something about the hex file. As you can see, we have uh, different colors here. Uh, it also noticed an error in this file here. Uh, so it could be quite useful or as I said you can use a uh, hex file viewer uh, in this case if you click on a particular record uh, it will uh, actually show you the various components of the record uh, so in this case we have byte count 10 uh, which is uh, the actual value from here uh, this is hexadecimal, uh, then it shows the equivalent decimal value, 16, address, uh, 3830, uh, equivalent in uh, decimal, uh, then we have uh, the record type, uh, then we have the data, the checksum, and if there are any errors, they will be shown here. Uh, also, uh, in a hex file, uh, records may be uh, randomized. Uh, in this particular file, we have the records in order from the first address to the last address, but uh, they may also be uh, randomized. There is no particular rule for uh, having the records uh, sorted. So again, in this case, the viewer uh, will show you the minimum address, uh, the maximum address, and also it uh, extracts from the end of file record, if present, the execution address. Uh, again, uh, this is an error here, but uh, this is what the file actually contains in this case. Okay, so uh, I hope uh, this will be useful to you and uh, in the next video we'll see how we can address uh, several errors that may be present in uh, a hex file. See you next time.